That's his morning yoga. Yeah, pretty much is here. So be out of here. Right. You can hold me now, it's okay. So high under hook, I'm high, I'm trying to get my chin as far as I can. Everybody knows damn well, the first thing you do is start getting this over to the ground. Don't ever let anybody do it. So that knee should be under his shoulder until I want him to do it. I'm talking on the phone, high under hook means my bicep is buried into his armpit as an, at a minimum. The front, the bottom of my front delt should even be touching the edge of it. So I'm nice and high talking on the phone. I'm, I'm on my butt right now because Dale's been doing this for, for a long time. He's, he's, he's not worn out, but I don't want to finish him off. So I'm being nice right now. When you guys get on each other, I'm gonna put the pressure for a couple times, okay? This toe is to drive into the ribs. This one takes my butt off the ground. When I push up my left foot, tell me if I move that way. No? Okay, I'm gonna push up my right foot, tell me if I go up. Crushed into the ribs, right? Yeah, that's a driver. That's the drive leg, yeah. it's 45. That's why they drive toes. This will start to extend, but it's still pushing this direction. I'm still using my glutes to push up that direction. So that arm comes down, and even if I miss it, if I'm here like this, and I start to let go, and I miss that, and it hits that, what did I do? Up, up, over. Feed it as quick as you can to here. And I know most people, most people, as soon as they see it, they're thinking, oh, cobra chill. Not yet. But I'm holding this. No cobra. Now, rah. So the hand comes across my face, starts framing, and, and be mean. That's what it's gonna be. I get right on the wrist with one, two, three. And I start not not trying to go, rah. Watch my body. High under hook. Everything turns together. Okay? He pulls his hand out over top of each other all the way down. Switch the hips. My right knee is blocking his. I can put more pressure on this by doing what? Taking my knees off the ground, look at his face. That's going to cause a problem with his head, though, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So I got to pull the head down or the elbow or the elbow first and pull the head. It'll be a little meaner. Watch. Okay, guys? Play with it a little bit, have some fun. And if they do get the elbow down in the beginning, can you save it or are you just kind of fucked? Elbow down. If, and they if, do get the if, elbow to the mat. Yeah, if they manage to get to the mat, can you save it? No, the mat is like, if he, it depends yeah. on how you pummel it. So we pummel head to toe, right? And this is actually one of the chains from here. If he does this, I'm not going to get under his, his arm. You're not going to beat him there, right? So I grab the wrist, connect it to my belly. Okay. But when I let it come down, he wants to pull it down, right? Come through to the shin. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> but his palm has to be faced towards me on that one. Number two cutting bone, right? And the notch when I push, I push, he's already tapping. Now look. But now I have to grind it. Which also sets me up for what? Step, pull, up two. Your scythe arm mark. So no matter what you do, the counter to the counter to the counter to the counter, to the counter no dead ends possible until the submission is locked, right? One last time, Billy, okay? Yeah, great. Remember, I remember why I wear a mouth guard? Because he does stuff like that. And I don't know what's happening. <laughs> you need to sign up for We're doing an arm lock because I got cross face and you, you already signed the waiver when you started coaching. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, dude. I really like you. You said that very last one. <laughs> yeah, does, you want me to? Go easy on Dale. I'm going to do it. Definitely easy. Yeah, easy. Still, I still have to wear. We love you, Dale. Yeah. Still. He is a class act. Thoughts and forever, prayers man. for Dell. So, Terry, <laughs> you might be in more videos than me. <laughs> so I'm down here, his chin's into my chest, yeah? Okay, when, we have, when you're, check this out with the gi, this is beautiful, because when you have the gi on, you lock this back tight enough, that friction, yeah. not coming out. And it actually makes it easier for this submission. I'm not trying to get into it right now, we're going to in a little bit. When I go here, lift this knee up, and start driving the elbow down. And that's my fist up. It works better with the gi. Because yeah. once you slid down, man, it's locked like I'm doing a heel hook, right? Friction. But watch this. Here's the difference. I'm going to drive my head towards it. And then put my thumb towards my face. Okay? To compress. Got it? So back here again. You okay, buddy? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. You watch for this one. Or somebody does. And <laughs> <laughs> then like here, he's trying to get his, I know he wants his elbow to drive. I'd like to ideally have my knee under his elbow, under his shoulder, but that's not going to set me up for what I want here. So when he starts fighting there, he's fighting there, he's fighting there. Even if he miss, I miss this opportunity for that, and his elbow hits my leg, pop, pop. Control quickly, I'm down on the wrist. One, two, three, fingers controlling the hand itself. He's going to make, Dale, you guys know how strong he is. He's, he's stronger than most heavyweights I've been around. He's just, especially his grip, he ruined my damn patch on my Hegan Machado. He tore the whole damn thing off recently, and that's happened three times. Knuckle to the ground, far out, not here. Look, nothing happens, right? I put it out here, and turn. Now the knuckles are down, I bend, they're going right to you, right, Chan? Mm -hmm. You see the knuckles? So when I go here, 
Jan, I'm coming to you. Coming off that leg of the back. He's tapping right there. He's going to defend, correct? Well, he's going to do something to unless you do stuff to it. It's like getting punched back to counter. He comes back up. I want to get here. I don't care how high I have to get. I'm going to worry about his leg, though, don't I? If he throws it back fast, first of all, the Brazilian legs, he's going to take me back and put me in a horrible place. So I need to put, what, we did this recently. Put some weight on it. Get the grip as clean as you can. Don't move. Turn your body over. Then turn the hand if you need to. Iron your hook and on here. Okay? If you start feeling the legs creeping up your back and he's driving, just get your hands close to here. I'm not pushing with my neck. I'm rotating my hips. Grab, high under hook, twist. Okay. Good to go, guys? Yeah. Okay. Let's see how we do it. You guys got this. One, two, three. Part of the arm bar, didn't you? 